All right, Nathan. So what are we driving today? We have a 1984 VK Commodore. So the story of this car is, this is my brother's car. Bought this probably eight years ago for 300 bucks or 250 bucks. 300 bucks? Yeah, the guy used it as a paddock bomb, I think. Don't know what it is. <laughs> we think it's either a balloon or an exam. <laughs> we can't remember. But it's mocked up as a Calais. Um, it has cerulean blue interior, which is quite a bonus. It does look good. Because everyone true. knows what the possibilities are when you have blue interior. Um, my brother drove it with a 202 Carby for quite a long time and then we found a BK wagon with a factory, factory 308 which we then ripped the 308 out scrapped the car and put the running gear into this which nowadays you kind of look back at that yeah. and you kind of think why did we do that <laughs> we probably would get the wagon yeah so a factory VA wagon 308 AC everything what yeah <laughs> All right, we're just going to stop this right here, we need to have a talk. <laughs> and then this is it now, it's kind of an unfinished project. It needs a lot of work to still done to it, interior wise and stuff like that. Yeah, so the reason why we have this car today, what we're going to do is chuck a set of Nathan's favourite thing in the world, callovers, into this thing. And we're also going to put a set of uh, pacemaker headers on this thing, because it's got, what, what's got on it? Just It's got some really old, who knows what, no-name extractors on it. Yeah. So, the other thing this car has is it's got three, four, fives in it. So it revs at like 4,000 RPM on the freeway, <laughs> but off the line, it's really zippy. <laughs> It's quite a fun car. These things are really like, they, it feels like they're E30, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. I just can't get over how small it is. Like the interior space in here is tiny. Yeah. Like me and Nathan are pretty much rubbing shoulders. <laughs> the glove box is, you can fit a toothpick in there or maybe two <laughs> if you sit them the right way. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize just how small these cars are and light. So albeit there's only a 308 in the front of it, it actually goes all right. It goes really well. For Even with the three speed. It's so it's still got the three speed in it. And it's loud. It's loud. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> all right, let's see it take off. Let's see how she goes. Whoa. <laughs> It's really impressive. Off the line is really impressive. It actually does put you back in your seat. <laughs> After that, yeah. <laughs> runs, out, runs out of gear. Once it runs out of gear, then yeah, there's nothing in it. Yeah. But not bad. It's a fun car. Not bad. It's a fun little car. Yeah. I'm looking forward to putting the coil overs in it. So yeah. You know, I am too. And the extractors, a bit of welding. Anyway, let's get it back to the shop. Yeah, let's get it back to the shop. Tear into it. He just can't help himself. You seeing this shit, Daniel? You seeing this? <laughs> you seeing this? Let's be honest, you're enjoying yourself right now. Oh, driving me mental. You missed the spot on the fuse box cover. Yeah, the engine is just a bog stock 308. So the engine was torn down just intake carby wise and it obviously got a Edelbrock performer like what we put on Michael's car and a 650 Holly. The ignition system's still standard. The extractors, yeah, they're just old extractors. It's got a Gilmar belt drive, three-speed auto. I don't know what the autos are in these. It's got a full K-Mac front, front suspension. So the whole K-frame, I'm pretty sure they bolt in and out. So we actually got that and they already have a 308 engine mount. Bolt the K-frame in, engine just slipped right in. This is probably gonna get a 355 one day or an LS. Probably not an LS, probably a 355. But for the moment, we're just gonna be fitting extractors and um, coilovers and hopefully we'll do some more work to it. So, we have a set up. Pacemaker extractors for it. Comes with your bolts. I've never bought brand new pieces. I've always bought second hand off their Facebook marketplace. So anyway, that's that. We're probably gonna have 
trouble with this bastard of a side, but <laughs> we'll see how we go. <laughs> We've all seen extractors before. What we're really here to see is glass. Oh, heavy box, isn't it? Yeah. Alrighty, let's have a look at what we have here. Ah, oh, instructions. Ah. It tells you how to do the cutting thing. <laughs> no, I've learned my lesson. I'm reading, <laughs> I'm reading the instructions from now on. Ooh. That is a good looking bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah. I just can't believe you're gonna weld something to it. I know. That feels so <laughs> wrong. We're not gonna weld something to it. We're going to mock it up and then send it to Tin Man Fabrication where he can do the welding for he's gonna, it. He's gonna TIG weld it for us. We're not gonna trust ourselves welding something like that. We really don't need a wheel falling off. Oh, they're adjustable too. Yeah. Pretty much, they're very similar to what we have in the g and isn't it? Mm. Pretty much the same thing. Oop. There's a the spring. Oh yeah. Ah, very nice. That's clever. Okay. So there's your ride height, I'm guessing? Yeah. Might need to read the instructions. Height adjuster mounted to top of spring. I would have thought it was bottom. There you okay. go. This is why we read instructions. That goes on the top of it, Michael. Yep, there. This is why we read instructions. <laughs> <laughs> other, other way, other way. <laughs> this is why we read instructions. <laughs> like that? Yep, that's it. Very cool. It's a good looking bit of kit. Good looking bit of kit, yeah. What's in here is shocking. Do you like that one? I saw it coming. You didn't see that coming. Yeah. It didn't no. shock me at all. <laughs> Touche. We should probably read the instructions for this yeah. now. Yeah. So we'll get all the wheels off to start with and then Pull the rear out and get that done first, you reckon? Yeah, the rear's are easy. And then just pull the front ones out. Yeah. Because like I said, we're not welding them. We need to get them out, basically. Cut them, send them away. He's going to shut them. We're going to put it back in. Yeah. Oh! We might have been luck. Every time we put a car up in the hoist, we forget to crack the wheel nuts before we uh, take it off the ground. So what we need is a big ugga dugger. This is it? Look! Oh, that's unfortunate. Do you reckon it'll drop? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. My knowledge of Commodores is you should be able to just pull the spring out without having to do anything, otherwise your car's not low enough. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so it's a Commodore because the spring <laughs> just pulled out. Um, this is natural. This is a Commodore in its natural habitat. This is a... <laughs> so what are these? SL. That's pretty good. That's a good height for SL. To yeah. be honest with you. I'd hate to think what SSL would be. It, yeah, um, or SSSSL. Or SSSSSSSL. What about SSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
I have bad news. It's not gonna do it. I touched the anti seize. <laughs> so close. <laughs> How about I pull it, you push? This is very hard to do one handed. <laughs> is he done? Alright, that's it. I'm excited. I like iron cars. The other thing that I love is this the original wheel? <laughs> Yeah, Who is this knows? the original tire in the original wheel? I don't wheel? think so. Nah. Yeah, it looks old though. We'll put these in. We'll bolt the top. Then we'll go up. We'll jack the diff up to meet this. Or wherever the, sing, the, the spring is seated. Then we'll adjust it. Put a bolt in it. Dip her in the butt. <laughs> Nipper in the butt. <laughs> I'm starting to realise more and more that I'm always the one that seems to be getting into the boot. Oh, into the boot. Into the boot. Into the boot. Actually, in saying that, I did lock you in the HQ boot. <laughs> there is a lot of room in here. So if anybody wants to know, you can fit one Nathan in the back of a Kingswood. I reckon you can fit more than one. Yeah, exactly. I might be here for a little while. Mm. Man, I love good quality parts. It just works, yep. you know? Yep. So far, no issues. Hopefully the front, no issues. Oh, these go on permanently. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, okay. So obviously these have the adjustment on the top here. Um, and these ones didn't because you had to put the bolt in. So I guess they sit on top. So we'll put these in now. Can you feel it adjusting the shock though? Yep. Yeah. So it's just got to be screwed in, done up with a spanner. Yeah, just, cool. just a quick little nip. All right, we'll do that up and then that's it. Looks like done. a 14, looks like the spanner we had, the 14 mil actually was. Isn't that cool the way it does that? Yeah. It's very clever. Done. Beautiful. How cool is that? What size is this in there? <laughs> Whatever that bites, it's like know. scary, isn't it? Alright, so the main thing we need to worry about is whether these are loose, which they're not. So, that's it. Um, Buck's done. That was easy as. Alright, so far, good kit. I'll do the front. I'll do the front. I'll do the front. I'll do the front. What's the bet that the back is so easy and the front's gonna be really hard? Probably. Really knock myself out. That's cool. I was just, you know, doing. The important thing is I got what I need done. <laughs> now I can't freaking get. <laughs> but now I can do this side easily. If you spin it back out of the way, it's better. Really <laughs> We might need a bearing puller. Really? Yeah, ball joint puller, yeah. Nothing to make it want to drop unless we get something in there and like lever it. Lever it. <laughs> How do you do this? I'll say you get the ear protection this time and I don't, huh? Yeah. This top feels like it's gonna fall off and hit you. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Hmm. That's seriously all it is. Oh, so I go, I go and find a find a bearing Sorry. <laughs> separator and you're going to take all the glory, are you? Yeah. yeah. No, you go. You so we needed to get a separator to pop it. So we borrowed one. Because we don't usually use them, we usually just hammer the crap out of stuff and people tell us we're doing it wrong. And look, they're not wrong. <laughs> is that tight? It's getting there. No, 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 I'm happy to watch. I don't want to snap it. <laughs> It, it just popped, popped it! <laughs> <laughs> that scared the crap out of me! <laughs> so what the key thing, the key ingredient to these working is tighten it, go to get a larger bar and it'll pop off. Yeah. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm caked in any seas now. <laughs> Holy crap, that worked. Yeah. The and only, it didn't hurt it? The only problem is now we've got to get that big, big boy one out. out. That's not going to work with that. Did you get the fork that you smash in? Yeah, well, that's what I hope works. Well, let's go pop that one. That way we're on par on either side. Cool! Just as soon as my heart comes back down and I can <laughs> feel my toes again. Uh, uh. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> cool! That works a ripper. Yeah. Alright, now can I have that please? <laughs> still gonna undo I've mine. been stealing this from him like 10 times over. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have a puller or a separator to get this out because it's kind of a bit of a pain of a design if you have a look at it. Alright, so we don't have a puller to get this off. We were going to try 
put a separator in there but it's just not it's not working we're not damaging the crap out of this boot we don't want to replace the boot so we're going to do something that's probably not recommended but we're just going to try and smash it out from the top hopefully there you go you there go. we go beautiful and the thread isn't damaged so she's still good all right let's pop this collar over right? all um, we're going to do is just undo the top pull the strut off cut it that's it take it out I'm pulling as hard as I can. <laughs> I can't line it up. Bolt that. Oh, the hell? This suspension is so tight. The hell? Oh, there we go. <laughs> 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 oh, there Woo! Damn, I had a hard job. Bastard. <laughs> I had a hard job. We basically had to undo like everything to just get it down enough so we could pull it out. It's out though, isn't it? Yeah. Next one. <laughs> Woo! Ah. All right. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Once in you have to do it. Yeah. Oh wow, this is heavy. So, so the this... external diameter of that will slide into the coil over. All right, so then that should go in. Yeah. Okay. And then it bottoms out there here and this is where you weld yeah it. and that's where you weld it now we just cut it i suppose yeah i'm guessing there's nothing in here that we have to worry about blowing up there shouldn't be you're ungrinding it yeah i'll cut it i'll be fine then <laughs> i'm just gonna stand out there behind the blast door yeah nice you know what? let's just cut it i'm just gonna just go for it falls to the wall yeah i wish we had a big nine inch grinder just to so be like Arr! yeah how good would that be end up nicking the rotor <laughs> And then we just, I wonder if we should take the rotor off. You know what we should do? We should just cut a few slits in here and then we get a slotted rotor. Yeah. This is like my barbell for the day. Deadlift. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> That's actually really heavy. Cool. I got it. Are you putting the gloves on for this one? Yeah, I think I have to. <laughs> so Nathan got told this really good idea about using a piece of paper to get your get a square cut on a circle tube like this and it's really good <laughs> except I'll fault him on one thing Nathan where did you get that piece of paper from <laughs> instructions <laughs> <laughs> he cut he cut the blood instructions he ripped them not only in half but like <laughs> vertically down the page <laughs> I can't finish that sentence anymore Nathan <laughs> Look, Predator, a great idea, I love it, but maybe next time a scrap piece of paper. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we, we may have um, found the oil. The good thing is we've got this piece of paper here that we can Don't use to soak. <laughs> soak it. <laughs> Yeah, you ruined it on purpose. I could have saved that piece of paper. <laughs> could you? <laughs> could you? Yeah, I could. I'm scared to keep cutting. Why? What's going to happen now? It's already come out. Well, that's for me. I'll get that. You keep cutting. See ya. <laughs> well, he's made a mess. <laughs> if you're cutting into him, it's going to go everywhere. Rest in peace instructions and my workbench. Really hope we don't need those instructions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll grab something to clean this up. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll clean the that up and see if it slots in. Yeah. So it should just be. You put two and two together. <laughs> That's it. So obviously it'll be flush with that. It's gonna have and to you be. You just long. go. <sighs> that didn't sound like there was enough penetration in that one. <sighs> good. Good wise. And that's too. it. So I'll cut the other one, get oil all over me, <laughs> and then we'll call it quits. Done. For today. Nice. Paint it black, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never see it, you'll never see it anyway. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty much it for today, we're done. I gotta go to work, Nathan's tired and he's covered in oil. <laughs>
that's pretty much it for today. That was pulling everything off, except for the exhaust. We'll do that uh, next episode, I reckon, because that should be hopefully pretty easy. The coilovers are ready to be welded onto the stub, like we spoke about before. So it's just gonna slip on there, nice and neat. Get welded up. Come back, we'll put it in, bada bing, bada boom, nipper in the butt. Fair it really, isn't it? That's it. It's actually been, like, this is a pain, I suppose, but it's been but, pretty... I mean, we don't know Commodore front suspension. For someone that knows the suspension, I'm sure they could have it out in half hour, like, unlike us. But yeah. I found it pretty, pretty good. Yeah, and there's probably a trick where you could probably take this bottom cap off and maybe you pull the reservoir out, but we didn't know it. We found out the hard way that there is oil in there. Yeah. We kind of figured there might be anyway. But it doesn't really matter. Anyway, if you like this episode, please make sure that you like and consider subscribing as well too if you want to see more stuff like this. And if you'd like to support us even more, head on over to the website where you can get a bunch of Hack Shop merch, a bunch of Hack Shop stickers as well too. Like that one. <laughs> There's stickers everywhere in this joint. Also too, make sure guys, you head over to Person Garage and sign up. Get yourself a bunch of exclu exclusive deals and members pricing. It's really worth signing up to guys and a really good website. Very handy as well for DIYers. What else are we missing? I feel there's one more thing I'm supposed to talk about. Or is that it? All right, so while editing this video, I remember what I forgot and that is we need a word of the day. And I think this week's word of the day, I think you guys have guessed already. It's gotta be instructions yet again. So let's go with uh, instructions 2.0 for word of the day. You guys know the drill. Comment instructions 2.0 below and out of all you people that do that, we will pick two people at random and we'll send you out two hack shop sticker packs. Other than that guys, we will see you in the next episode. Might be this, might be something else. Again, we don't know, we'll see what happens. We will catch you then. <laughs> Steven scraped here. You wanna go lower with this, Daniel? Are you sure? Cause you're about to have an open cut exhaust. <laughs> it's self clearancing. <laughs> Oh wow, like that's fairly substantial, not just a little bit. The HQ, you don't understand how fussy the old man is. He's been adjusting that suspension. He goes for a drive, measures it, <laughs> just coil over a little. It's not sitting level. Right, adjust it a little bit. Every, he's been adjusting it for like months now <laughs> to get the thing perfectly <laughs> level. <sighs> get out! <laughs> get out of the boot! <laughs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> oh, way too old for this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>Apparently, Nathan's telling me this is factory, but I think his knowledge of Holden's isn't that good. So, someone out there tell us if this is factory or not. Now, in most cars, you have the mirror here to you know make yourself look pretty and um, you know do do whatever you need to do on there. This one whoop, has it there. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> I think that's a grass idea. I hope that's factory because. But you know why they did that? Why? Because the car is so small. If you pull this down, you're like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> you're like looking straight at your ugly mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do some workout. We haven't done anything today. We haven't done anything today. No, we've been too busy driving cars, having fun. We don't do that all often. We spent we spent all this time in the shed building these cars that we never drive because we just spend more time building other cars, and then the cars that we build just get pushed to the side. <laughs> There's a problem with that, I'm sure, but we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing.